welcome to my video. I'm Jennifer Roberts. You're catching me on my YouTube channel, True Divine 44. You can also catch me on my page, True Divine. That's on Facebook. Twitter and Instagram is the True Divine. Um, no spaces, nothing else in it. And any likes, shares, subscribes, follows, um, especially the comments are greatly, greatly appreciated. And much love to everybody who does that thus far. So this is a reading for the 27th of July, 2020. Um, it's part of the daily energy readings that I put out, part of the free content that I put out for to um, give inspiration, guidance, support to anybody who decides to take it. Um, remember, it is general, so I ask that you only take what resonates with you in your heart. Um, don't try and manipulate the reading with your mind. Manifest things that you don't really need to deal with into your life or lessons that you've already learned um, through any insecurities. So this is a follow-on from yesterday and a level up or maybe a follow-on from yesterday and talking to a different crowd so this is it's a it's a pretty powerful day um in the the decisions that are being made so we've got the full card again i think he was around on the bottom of the deck when i shuffled again um, and did some clarifiers from yesterday the fool um going off on his journeys and for this, this really speaks to me of this fool um, not taking any notice of the perceived dangers that are being bombarded at him right now. This is a very brave fool energy because right now to be a fool, to be the energy of the fool card, the major arcana, is very difficult in the climate that we're living in right now. I mean, every kind of psyop, every kind of illusion, every kind of fear destruction technique is being thrown at us, literally cannonballed at us on a daily, daily basis. And not only that, we have to deal with the people who are actually affected and hooked into by these illusions, by these divisionary tactics, and um, by this fear, fear porn, if you like. Um, we have to deal with that also. So we're also being bombarded with the opinions of others that we maybe love or maybe respect, but you know, just don't agree with right now. And so this full energy is very brave and does have the, the um, fortitude to go forward regardless of what may be um, put in his way. And so to take on this full energy right now is very difficult, of course it is. Everybody has been affected in one way or the other. Um, to take the, on this full card right now is very brave. And to take on the energy of this full card right now is much needed. It is an absolute call to arms in that, you know, to not be um, affected by these things that are being cannonballed at us to try and distract us, to try and bring us down into control and into fear. And so, um, and even bigger illusions regarding who we are, what we are, and what we're capable of. Um, and so to take on the energy of this full card right now, thank you to everybody who's taken on that energy, regardless of these techniques, because it is the very thing that will bring us through this with more positive results than negative. Um, without the energy of these fools around us, um, and we are seen as fools, because I put myself in the bracket of this fool card, you know, a lot of us have been speaking to people, whether it's on a, on a smaller scale or a wider stage, um, we've been speaking to people for a very long time regarding the illusions that are going on, regarding the control tactics, regarding the truth about our true capacity as spiritual beings for a long, long time. And we've had this attack, but you know, it is leveled up to the point now where, you know, we're getting attacked twice as much, but from an, I feel from on a more positive note, from a smaller scale in that a lot more people, even if they haven't become fully aware yet, which nobody is fully, fully aware, but you know, very aware yet, let's say, um, they're opening up and starting to question because it's as if the, the people who throw these cannonballs of fear and control tactics, divisionary tactics, are overplaying their hand. They've been caught out on many things that many people, regardless of what background they're from, will stand together shoulder to shoulder and say, uh-uh, no more. 
we know it now, we've got the proof now, everything we've known and spoken about for many, many years now has come into fruition to the undeniable proof that you guys have lived by and quoted to get your agendas done um, for as long as we can remember. So you can't say that this proof isn't that is out there if you look um, isn't real now. So it's as if we've um, they've overplayed their hand and now people can really play them against their own rules, um, play them against their own um, research, their own um, uh, tactics of um, truth, you know, so they've overplayed their hand. So there is positives in this in that, you know, that where conspiracy theorists, let's say, um, had quite a large proportion of people around them um, calling them idiots, you know, calling them stupid, calling them conspiracy theorists. Um, it became a dirty word. And so now at least that, that group that is willing to still shout out conspiracy theorist is getting smaller, I feel. Now, yes, it's not getting um, the press, it's not getting the, the um, imprint that it should be getting, no. But it's because everything that we see is biased and owned. So that's not to say that they're not there. So take peace and have knowledge that people are coming together from all walks of life and regardless of differences, are actually being able to put those aside for a collective cause. So this fool marches on, this fool energy marches on. Um, to clarify him, we have another major arcana, and on this deck it's the hanging man, it's the, the dragon deck, so it's the hanging man there. And so um, this is the, the hangman. And so this is seeing things from a different perspective. Um, not, not doing what would be natural to do and what would be predictable to do, i.e. get the guns out now and, and fight, 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 um, or, you know, go and protest so that they can turn it into a riot. No, 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 this full card is much more ascended than that. This full card is much more poised and graceful than that because it is clarified by the hangman. So the hangman lays in wait. You know, he's not in any hurry. He wants to be strategic. He wants to see things from all perspectives, from all angles. So he hangs upside down to see the script flipped upside down, um, to see a way forward, to see tactics that haven't worked in the past and think and strategize of ways that will work in the future. And so to have the energies of these two combined, to go into what is another major arcana, the world card, um, to this new world to try and um, force more natural law rather than the laws that have been man-made by the few that only serve the few, the systems that have been man-made by the few that only serve the few. Um, and so to do that, this fool energy has worked hard and continues because it's a continuous job to do the inner work because you can't have this um, fortitude, you can't have this ability to stand beside people that you would disagree with, that you maybe wouldn't enjoy the company of, or that maybe that you've had a falling out with in the past. And that's not to say that you have to not learn those lessons and become best buddies, but there is a combined, there's a combined um, consensus here, in that regardless of anything petty, we need to have wisdom enough to know that as humans, as humankind, as brothers and sisters, as part, parts of the all, um, as part of the creative source in each and every one of us combined, we are part of the all. We are all connected. Um, it is important for children in particular, animals as well, that we, the planet, um, and therefore us, um, so it's important that we um, bring this forward without looking at petty differences. This is a, this is a combined force for, for an ultimate goal of collective good. And so to take us into this new world, to take us into this reality where we can really discover without limitations the true potential of us, our, our spiritual beings while we're here walking this earth and beyond. Um, it takes that different perspective. It takes that wisdom. 
it takes that different point of view it takes that wisdom to be able to take on board different points of view and different um ways of being but still being able to stand together when the time is right to um to not consent to the more nefarious things that are going on right now and that are planned for the future Clarifying the world card, we've got the two of coins, this came up yesterday as well as the world card coming up yesterday so that's why I'm saying it's a continuation of yesterday, maybe to add to yesterday for those that it resonated with yesterday or maybe to a completely different crowd where the same um, aspects of the readings apply but they're on different levels i.e. I would say today if this resonates with you, you have really been going hell for leather on the lessons learned, on the inner work, to be able to be have the wisdom to, to do what you're doing right now and going forward and not being hung up or not being um, caught up on the petty different points of view that individuals will all have. And it can be a beautiful thing to have those different points of view. If it can be the hangman and relaxed about it and see things with an open mind and decide whether we want to agree or disagree. Um, to clarify that with the two of coins, it is this two different worlds coming together. Um, people from all walks of life, people from all different different worlds um, coming together with the combined knowledge that we need to stop whatever is being rolled out right now. Um, and stand together in our differences, stand together in our individuality and bring them together com um, in a combined force um, for the collective good. Um, it also speaks of, for some people going forward on this journey, it does speak of going back, the fool finding his soul path again, the fool connecting with people that are supposed to be connected with him and around him and I'm saying him because it's depicted as a male on the card, us, um, people that, that are coming around them and, and being discerning as to who they are as well because don't think you, you're you not being challenged still right now on even lessons that you thought you'd learned. Um, right now you can see all of those lessons and forever, forever more, see all of those lessons as um, it's refinement. It's not that you're, um, uh, you know, getting punished from God or anything like that. It's just that, you know, the same lessons come up because if you haven't done enough inner work, if you haven't transmuted the energy from the lessons in the first place, then, um, you know, the same lessons are going to come up because you, you've got that still within you. So you're still attracting that. You're still being the magnet towards that. That's for me, that's all that's happening. And so it just speaks to extra refinement and you, we need to be refined right now, walking into the possibility of this new world. Um, we need to be able to, um, to, to clear ourselves of as much as possible. And so it does speak of discernment also though, that where the energy of us coming together, um, where the energy of us, um, being um, ascended enough and having the wis enough wisdom to, to be together in our individualities. Um, it does speak to um, certain people, certain past, certain worlds that you may have to avoid and that might be another lesson coming in so that you can um, do that inner work that still needs to be done. So be aware of that. The third card being the Five of Swords. And you know there's going to be conflict on this journey if this resonates with you. You know there's going to be people throwing their words around, you know, throwing their um, slurs at you. The, 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 the psyops, the psychological warfare is the five of, card, five of swords here. Um, and it's for you, us, to speak the truth to that with the knight of swords. You know, he rushes in, he's, he's taken all prisoners, he speaks the truth. He has wisdom, but he also has integrity. And with that integrity, his words can be heard. Because if you're spreading truth, then we all have a responsibility to have integrity right now, to have wisdom and act accordingly. Because people aren't gonna listen to us if we are still, um, you know, not having that integrity and working for our own agenda. People aren't going to hear our words. And if you do that, then you weaken the whole movement towards this um, loosening of the chains of control. 
um, loosening of the chains of abuse that we have in our reality on a great scale right now. And so, um, and being open to how the truth comes in also, you know, it, it works in mysterious ways and it'll come in in whatever way it needs to come in with the Knight of Swords and it'll come in fast and it'll come in hard. It takes no prisoners and he's intelligent and he's wise and fast with it. So the third card that came out with that, because the Knight of Swords popped up on the Five of Swords, um, again, that's how the Knight of Swords works. He comes in, he, he's there, you know, telling the truth, regardless of the possibilities of being um, looked at wrong or, or called names or whatever the possibilities might be, regardless, he does it. He comes in hot, he comes in strong. So the chariot that came up yesterday also, in that this movement forward, in this movement forward, it is your role, it is your responsibility to be as balanced as you possibly can be to do the inner work continuously to balance and recalibrate sorry i forgot to switch the ding a thing off um to be and this is important you know if you want to to fulfill this part of your soul path of your soul's journey then we do need to be balanced and in this climate it's no denying it is difficult so reach out to the right people reach into yourself do whatever you can do to stay balanced and whole during this time on the other hand, this is super exciting. Readings like this coming up, intense um, knowledge, intense messages for those that are on this journey and in this position in their lives where they can hear what I'm saying. This is exciting stuff for me to say. This is the kind of stuff that I came here for. I really believe that, I really know that. And so this is um, warriors, this is calling to arms, so to speak, and right now the arms of, of of warfare or balance, their words of wisdom, integrity, respect for others, individuality, um, true growth, intellect, those are the things, those are the things that we need to bring to the table in droves and um, lead by example. So, you know, if you are um, acting in a way in your life that turns people off that isn't really nice that isn't great for the greater good you know you're not going to be heard you're not going to be recognized as this knight of swords so right now it is a responsibility and it is that call to arms that you um don't let the side down you don't let the team down are you going to turn up are you going to do this are you going to be able to set aside those petty things that have, have caused division in your life with others that you were supposed to hang out with, that you were supposed to do something with, even if it's just this, and then you part ways at the end of the day. Are you going to be there to do that? Are you going to turn up? Are you going to be a part of it? I am, and all a lot of you are, and I appreciate that so much. So until next time, stay balanced, stay whole.